There were many changes happening with the Android 12 beta, but one feature that many had hoped would not make it into the stable release is the new internet toggle in the quick settings panel. This internet toggle replaces the Wi-Fi and mobile data toggles that many of you were used to. And I'll be using this video to show you how to get back that Wi-Fi and mobile data toggle and it does not require root access. So for many, this change to Android 12 has made a simple task of toggling Wi-Fi or mobile data take an extra step. Instead of toggling Wi-Fi or mobile data directly from there, it seems we're having to go through another tap in order to toggle those services. Now many had hoped this change would have been reverted back before the stable release of Android 12, but that does not seem to be the case. Google has even come out and given their reasoning behind the change. The company says that they have done user studies and that they have shown most people toggle Wi-Fi in order to force a connection to mobile data. And as a result, because of that, Google says that many people simply forget to toggle Wi-Fi back on. This has resulted in excess mobile data usage, and this change in Android 12 is a way to work around this common issue for people. Now, whether those user studies relate to you or not, Google seems to have forced this new toggle on all users but there is a way to get these toggles back. And again, this does not require root access, but it does require an ADB command. Now I've already done a few videos showing how to install ADB and Fastboot tools on your computer. I'll be linking to those in the video description below. So go ahead and follow those videos if you have not installed ADB on your PC yet. And I'm reading we can also use the LADB app if you do not have a PC available. So once you have ADB and Fastboot tools set up on your PC, we're going to go ahead and connect it to our phone with a USB cable and make sure we have an ADB connection. So here we have minimal ADB and Fastboot tools installed on this PC. We use this shortcut to open up a command prompt in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. This command prompt or terminal or Windows PowerShell needs to be opened in the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot tools files. So again, we have our Android 12 device connected to the PC right now with a USB cable. And we're going to test that connection with the ADB devices command. Now, if your device is not listed as shown here, make sure that you have USB debugging mode enabled and then run that command again. We're going to continue running this ADB devices command until you make sure that you have a device registered with that USB cable. So from here, we need to go into an ADB shell. And we do that by typing out the command ADB space shell, and then press enter on the keyboard. And you can see that's gonna change us from this prompt that's within a command prompt to a shell prompt that's actually taking place within the phone itself. Once we have entered a, an ADB shell, we're either going to type out or paste this long command right here. And I will give you a heads up, if you paste this command, make sure to go back and check to see if it is correct. When I pasted this from a website, it replaced the quotes with the number 34. So be aware of that typo. So again, once we are in an ADB shell, the command we're going to enter is settings space put space secure 
space SYSUI underscore QS underscore tiles and then a space quote Wi-Fi comma cell comma the money sign quotation or parentheses settings space get space secure space SYS UI underscore QS underscore tiles in parentheses and then a quotation mark. So again, you can either type all of that out or you can paste it with a right click and then again, go back and make sure all of the letters and symbols are correct. And with that done, we're just going to press enter on the keyboard and it should simply bring you down into another ADB shell prompt. You shouldn't get an error message or a success message. It should just bring you back to another shell prompt. With that long ADB shell entered, we can come back to the phone, bring down the quick settings panel. And now we have a Wi-Fi toggle, a mobile data toggle, and an internet toggle. The internet button still works the same as before, but the Wi-Fi toggle works as you would expect. Now I did all of this on my Pixel 4a. I am reading that this whole process works on other older Pixel devices such that have been upgraded to Android 12. I am also hearing issues of this not working if you have done a clean install of Android 12. This trick may only work if you have updated from Android 11 to Android 12. However, I am also seeing people with a Pixel 6 saying that this worked for them. I don't have my Pixel 6 yet. It's supposed to be delivered later today. I can update this video with a comment to give you an update later, letting you know if this worked for me. But if you have a Pixel 6, let me know in the comment section below. I'm reading that after doing this command on the Pixel 6 series, the toggle can appear, but they seem to disappear long after, not that long after. So it may only be a temporary thing for the Pixel 6. It may only be a temporary thing for Android 12 as a whole. So let me know your feedback in the comments section below. Tell me if this command worked for you. Let me know which phone you are using it on and whether or not you did a clean install or updated from Android 11 or the beta of Android 12.